Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is December 22nd, 2023. And today's daily scripture readings are found in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 26 and Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. As always, let's get started with the index scripture first. So Galatians chapter 5 starting at verse 22 and the word says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. And then on the index card, I reiterated verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And then I wrote, allow your fruit of joy to grow and share it with others. And then I also wrote, let all your fruit grow. But this week's focus has been on joy. So that's why I emphasized to allow your fruit of joy to grow and to be able to share it with others. All right, well, let's go over to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. And the word says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let me go ahead and go down and finish it off at verse 7. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God will surpass, oh, I'm sorry, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. But see, we're given instructions. We need to rejoice in the Lord always. Always. No matter what. Rejoice in Him. Be thankful. Give Him praise, honor, and glory. No matter what we're going through. No matter what we're dealing with. We need to rejoice in the Lord. Always. And then it goes on and says, Let your gentleness be made. I'm sorry, let your gentleness be known to all men that the Lord is at hand. And we just got finished reading the fruit of the Spirit. And one of them is gentleness. And go further down. Like, they're giving us the instructions like the peace. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer. So if you feel that anxiousness starting to bubble up inside of you or you start to worry... That's when we need to instantly give it over to the Lord. We need to pray at that moment. Yes, we might be doing something, but you can always pray in your mind. You know, you can always pray and like, Lord, I need your help. I feel this anxiousness starting to come. Um, help me take it away in your mighty name, Jesus, I pray. It doesn't have to be long. It just be simple. And sometimes you have to keep saying it and believing in it. And then by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And always be thankful and knowing that he hears your prayer. Knowing that he's with you. Knowing that he hasn't left you. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So remember to rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. 
Let your gentleness be made known that the to all men that the Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, prayer, prayer, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Do not let this world take your joy or your peace that has been given to us by Jesus Christ. Do not let this world take it. Do not hand your peace over. Do not hand your joy over. Because like I've been saying it and I understand that so many of us go through different things and I understand that so many of us are on our different uh, walks with the Lord Um, you know where it's like our faith may be different but at the same time all of us who are born again believers and followers of Jesus Christ who've been reconciled back to Abba Father which is God and have the Holy Spirit dwelling in us we have the fruit of the Spirit in us we have all those seeds and like I've been saying to the Lord it's like I know we all have the seeds it's just those certain seeds mature at different levels for each of us Um, And some need more pruning and attention to, you know, some can grow quick and, you know, some need those attention, but we all have it. And the root and the source of the fruit of the Spirit is the Lord Jesus Christ. So remember, you have joy. You have peace. But you just got to remove and stop looking at the situations and what they are and know that you have Jesus dwelling inside of you by way of Holy Spirit. He is with you. He will never leave you. You have the Prince of Peace dwelling inside of you. You have joy. Sometimes I just feel like we need to redefine what joy is. And remember, Jesus is the source of our peace for he is the prince of peace he is the source of our joy you know he prayed for his joy to be fulfilled in us the joy of the lord is our strength you know in nehemiah i think chapter 8 verse 10 um jesus is peace all these the fruit of the spirit we see that jesus represented down here on earth you know, which he was resembling God the Father. So yes, I just, um, I just want you guys all to know no matter what you're going through, the ones who feel like they don't have joy or peace, you do. You do. You just have to remember who the source is and you have that source living in you. It's just you've kind of um, taken your focus off of it. So because this, this, and this is going on, you feel like you don't have it. But you do. And that true joy, like no matter what you're going through, you can have that joy that only the Lord can fulfill in you. You can be going through crazy things. But you know, it's like those love languages that is uh, personal from Abba to you. He will send it to you and it will just make your heart so glad and rejoice in what you're going through. And it's like, and I could be wrong, but this is me personally, okay? I feel like we know that Jesus Christ is the source of our joy right so I feel like anything that is man-made will not give you joy I feel like everything that truly gives you that joy comes from the creator that he has created so it starts from Jesus and then it'll stem down like 
I love birds. I love nature, sunsets, sunrises, butterflies, different things like that. So I could be having a bad day. Here comes a bird or you see a beautiful sunrise or sunset, whatever the case may be. And it's like instantly, it's like that smile just lights up my face and I get so joyful to the Lord and thankful amongst what I may be going through. So remember to rejoice in the Lord always. Praise Him. Come to Him with thanksgiving. Be anxious not, but be in prayer. But in everything in prayer and supplication, when you feel the anxiousness starts to rise up, when you feel that worry, go to the Lord right then and there. It doesn't have to be a long prayer. It can just be a short prayer. Just quick. Just quick. All right. Well, I know this video has gone longer than usual, but I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night. Whenever you come across this video, God bless each and every one of you all. And remember to walk in the joy that the Lord has given to you. Rejoice in the Lord always. And allow His peace that surpasses all understanding to guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Take care and bye.